This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome back now here in this session. So now we'll see the testing part. So Dunning, we have done the configurations and it's time to perform the testing. So whatever configurations we have done, like systems should react as per our configurations, right? So we'll do one thing, guys. Now I'll just do one thing here. So first of all, we have to post certain transactions, right? We, you need to post certain transactions into SAP, guys. So we'll do one thing. Let me check whether any transaction is posted or not. So we use FP uh, L5N transaction code to check any transaction is posted or not. So here, let me check it. So here I'm going to give the company code TM00 and let me check it. Since I'm having a single customer itself, right? So one transaction is there and this is, I think that belongs to uh, the previous one, like uh, this receivable payment and parcel payment, right? So I'll just do one thing, guys. It's better to clear this transaction. So F-28, and we'll clear this transactions, and then we'll post a fresh transaction, and then I'll show you guys, because uh, several things I need to cover, certain scenario I have to cover, guys, in the sense like uh, testing part itself, but <clears throat> certain transactions uh, need to be posted in current date. Certain transactions are going to be posted in previous date and future date. Also, this is how it is going to be. Then uh, we'll perform the testing and we'll show you guys how the things are happening here. So give your vendor, sorry, customer number first and press enter. So look at here, 3000 amount entered by us and system is also assigned 3000. Let me save it. So it means now that is cleared. It means whatever the open item was there that is clear if you check now there won't be any open item fbl 5n for you guys also as a beginner as a freshers uh i'll recommend you if you're having the open items and all better to clear it or is that there might be like we don't know like i don't know or even you also don't know like previously what testing you have done right so in that case there might be some it may create now here uh again so you just do one thing guys now we'll post a transaction FB70. So we'll post certain transactions before posting transactions. So uh, here, like let's suppose invoice amount, right? So this is the invoice. And again, whatever the invoices are going to be posted, guys, those invoices are going to be due or overdue, right? So a due date also will be there. Due date also will be there. Okay, and due date based on the due date, what is happening? Status status of the invoice means invoice status in the sense like whether it become due or that is called document status also guys whether it is due or overdue or not due right this is how document status means this is what it it, it shows like whether this invoice become due overdue or not due right so here three things are important that you have to see here so i'll just do one thing now so wait now here so invoice certain amount guys let's suppose here i'm going to post an invoice worth of 4000 again 6000 now here 3000 three amounts are there right and it is going to be due on a particular date particular date means let's suppose uh this is going to be this become due today itself right today is the state here okay now and this is this invoice is already become due on like say for example on which date guys so it is going to be due on let's suppose it, it become due on 21st or like yeah 21st itself 21st 08 I'll, I'll keep a gap of 10 days here right so this become due on this is going to be due on this become due on 21st itself this is going to be due this become due today 
today is the 31st and then here this is going to be due on let's suppose which date guys so say for example 10 09 2020 so why i have kept these three uh, in different different date guys this is how status means this is going to be treated as overdue this is this is due and this is not due we are having three invoices which is having three different status right so now what will happen guys now so whenever we are going to whenever we are going to run this dunning program so what i said like dunning program means when you run the dunning program then system is going to select the invoice whichever the invoices are there so whatever the overdue and due invoices are there that is going to be selected by system and system is going to generate a letter but there is one more problem here right this invoice become overdue by a margin of 10 days so this one okay i'm able to understand that okay this already become overdue by a margin of 10 days that is why we are supposed to send a reminder later but this invoice become due today itself so is it like uh, uh, good to send a reminder letter to the customer because today itself is become uh, due so we should uh, allow customer to make payment uh, so we have to provide certain time right so for that what is happening guys we are having grace days right grace days i'm just typing writing in shortcut guys so but hope uh, these, these you guys are able to understand grace days here right this is called status right now here so grace days now grace days means five days we have given to every customer five days is going to be given as a grace days okay this is also called tolerance day tolerance days uh, in sap language you can say grace days or tolerance days both are same tolerance days means like how many days we can tolerate we can how many days are tolerable even like if you don't receive the payment so five days seven days uh it depends upon organization so here let's suppose we have given five days that till five days tata motor is going to wait and after that tata motor is going to uh escalate this matter sending the reminder is nothing but the escalations only guys so now here so this five days we are supposed to wait for five days now in that case the status is going to be changed now if you talk about status so once again look at here if grace date is not there if there is no grace day then what is happening guys system is going to select this invoice let's suppose here i'm going to give invoice number right try to understand guys first of all if you are able to understand this scenario then whatever things we are going to if you run the dunning program it is going to be quite easy pretty simple to understand or else like you watch whatever the configurations are there the things the thing is like if you're not able to understand the situations and the scenarios and all then uh, even if you know the configuration steps also there is no use of those things right so here these are the invoice number one two three okay so in my several sessions i have already repeated guys always try to understand the logic right in the sense first of all why to do and then how to do if you know why to do then only you are going to become become a good consultant to learn how to do you are having once you know uh, multiple configuration documents once you become a consultant even in every organizations they are having configuration documents uh in there somewhere like shared drive will be there where like you guys are going to get the access and all so multiple configuration documents are there but logic means those documents are not going to explain you the logic right you'll be having all the uh, what to say procedure like how to set up master data how to set up like let's suppose how to configure dunning how to configure automatic payment program but logic uh, is not going to be explained by those documents that is going to be explained by somebody whoever is like senior in the team uh, if you have any doubt you can ask to that uh, you know person the senior and he is going to or she is going to explain the logic right so now here and likewise if you are going to join any classes and also it's your faculty who is going to explain if really they have explained then only or else if these people are also going to follow just a configurations only then nothing is going to happen it's it's better to watch the youtube videos instead of joining such kind of classes that's my recommendations anyway so now here we are talking about dunning so now so this is the invoice so now let's suppose if the grace date is not there in that case these two invoice number one and two these two are going to be selected right so 
what is happening of course the grace days will be there in every organizations or else like uh, whatever invoice become due today if system is going to select that one also customer is going to be angry that you should allow us some time you, you should give us some time to make payment so this grace day is there so in that case what is happening guys the status is going to be changed and status means only so this five days is going to be added this five days is going to be added now what is happening guys then the due date is going to be different so 21 plus 5 26 so 08 so now this is going to be so on like if you run this dunning on this date or after this date then system is going to select this line in the sense this invoice is going to be selected and this is going to be due after five days it means like let's suppose 31 and plus five oh, so how many okay so i think fifth right so zero five zero eight two thousand twenty right so now what is happening guys and this is going to be so 10 plus 5 it is 15 0 9 2020 now the new status is this is the new new status it means if the five days we are going to add here if the five days is going to be added then what is happening i'll just do one thing i'll cut it and i'll keep it here so if the five days we are going to add then the status a new status is going to be this is this is your new new status right in the sense like new uh, we can say a due date new like due date in the sense like on 26th or after 26th this line item is going to be included right so in that case what is happening guys so even like let's suppose if i'm going to if i'm going to so if i'm going to run this dunning today on this 31st 08 2020 now you just try to understand this one okay if i'm going to run a dunning program today then what will happen right now i'll bring a little bit here onwards okay so today it means on this date today in the sense like i'll keep this date here okay now on this date we are going to run so this is going to be selected this is going to be selected this should not be selected why because it is going to be selected on or after fifth so not selected and this is also not going to be selected because anyway this is a future date and this is also future date but for this i this invoice what is happening guys for this invoice so later number one we can say like this is selected means the first reminder is going to be set sent and for this one zero reminder because if it is not going to be selected then what is happening guys here the letter number one is going to be generated right i'll just do one thing keep this here itself okay and read this so now here what is happening guys so on this date if we are going to run this then only one invoice is supposed to be selected and the first reminder is going to be generated for this invoice right and for these there should not be any reminder letter because still it is not eligible to send a reminder letter to the customer and then after what is happening guys then once you are going to run the next then we'll see how many invoices are eligible for this so one by one we are going to have it right now so i will just do one thing guys here let me check whether it is so it's gone now i'll have to log in once again <clears throat> so id password so here first of all fb 70 and we do one thing so how the invoices are going to be due guys invoices are going to be due based on based on the terms of payment payment terms right if you have like 
So in previous session, this is already covered. There is a topic called terms of payment. So with the help of terms of payment, that terms of payment is going to be used in case of customer vendor both, right? Since I have already uh, covered in the account payable segment. So the way it is going to be used for vendor in the same way it is going to be used for customer also. But for customer master, if you are able to if you are able to remember or else you just do one, do one thing XD02. So here go to your customer. What is the customer number? This is the customer number in customer number. What I have given I have given a different terms of payment that is called triple zero one. Why I have given triple zero one. If you have a look on this triple zero one, it means triple C triple zero one says that invoices are going to be due immediately. If I have received an invoice today, in the sense, if I'm going to post an invoice today, today itself it is going to be due. So why I have assigned this triple zero one? Because the testings are going to be quite easy. Testings are going to be quite easy. If you want to use uh, 30 days, 15 days, 10 days terms of payment, you can create and you can make your testing. Okay. So here triple zero one means like what is happening? So if you're going to post an invoice today. On this date, then it is going to be due today itself. And this is, let's suppose, on this date, then it is going to be due on that particular date. So this is what the logic. So I'll just do one thing, guys. Since three invoice I have to post, so just go to FP70. And here, give your customer number. And again, first of all, so I'm going to post one invoice worth of 4000 and what is the due date guys so it is supposed to be due on 21st it means in the same date if i'm going to post then only it is going to be due on that particular date because we are using a terms of payment triple zero one and as per triple zero one the invoices are going to be due on same date itself so if you have to make this invoice as a due on this uh, 21st of uh, what to say august then you have to post this invoice on that particular date itself. So here also documented posting date both I'm going to get the same date. Now here amount 4000 and then here we are having jail account as well. So jail account 3000 and then we are having again this press and tour. If you want to see the entries and all you can click on simulate or else you can save it directly. So the first invoice we have posted and this is going to be due on 21st now the second invoice is going to be due today so it is going to be posted in today's date and worth of 6000 so again here we are going to give the customer number and give the date worth of 6000 right and give your zero account and here 6000 save it so the second invoice also got posted now the third invoice we have to post and this is going to be due in future so first of all give your customer and post in future date and for this one there is some prerequisites what prerequisites guys so if you are able to remember in previous session i might have told you that open your posting period for whole year in this is one financial year why because such kind of testing uh, will take place guys where you need to sometime you need to post invoices in previous date sometime you need to post invoices in future date because uh, We have to perform multiple different different kind of testing is going to be going to be performed and then only you guys will be able to understand the exact Functionality of that particular topic, right? So every time if you open Your posting period for a single period itself then system will not allow you to post your transactions in the past and future date right so that is why i say like open the period for whole 12 month from 1 to 12 okay how to open the period is already covered in posting period variant segment under basic settings under basic setting in posting period variant you watch that video you'll be able to understand and you will come to know now here so this time how much amount guys i think this time 3000 so 3000 i'm going to post here and again, uh, look at here, GL number is also 3000 itself. Don't be confused. This 3000 is amount and this 3000 is GL account. If you press enter, look at here in, in short text, you will be getting that is a future. Since the invoice is getting posted in future date, 
that is why uh, system is going to throw uh, a warning message warning message why because system is saying that period 05 adjusted why period 05 adjusted guys because now we are posting this transaction in future date so right now what is happening guys as per since we are using non calendar year so if you use non calendar year and that too we are using let's suppose april to march so as per april to march the current period in the sense like current month that is august so april is the first period april then may second june third july fourth and august is the fifth period so right now fifth period is there but since i'm posting this in uh, what is a future date so 09 is what guys this is the sixth period so that is going to be adjusted so for that system is showing you a warning message yellow color message always is a warning message and how to avoid such kind of messages you have to press enter twice and thrice so now system has accepted this so this 3000 is your jira account and look at here the short text is also appearing just post it now i will go to fpl5 and and here execute and look at here so we are having only two items which is appearing right now the question is where is the third item why it is not appearing because see here if you are going to open this if you are going to see here look at here open item and that too the item which is posted till this date it means current date only is going to appear so the invoice which is posted in future date generally in real time future date posting is not allowed and future date is not permissible over there right for testing purposes of course uh, we can do it but re real time what is happening guys user will not be able to post the transactions in future date of course in past date they can post but for that also they need to take permission from uh, uh, whoever the manager or tl is there some senior authority will be there so they should take permission from those people why and how to take the permission so permission means like they'll drop a mail because the current current period only is open right so if they have to post a transactions belong to the previous month then previous period is supposed to be open so everybody will not be having access or authorizations of open and close period i'm talking about ob52 transaction code right so everybody will not be having authorizations very few people will have authorization and that will let's suppose managers tier or sometimes it is given to the consultant itself so they have to drop a mail and then managers are going to open the period or his consultant will open the period and then they will be able to post the transactions now here this transaction one transaction i have posted in future date so how you will see you better to click on all items so look at here we have not given any restrictions in terms of date so even the invoice which is posted in future date also is going to appear now look at here all the cleared item is also going to appear and then here all the open items are also so look at here guys the status in the sense like document status this is what the document status okay now first one is overdue second one is due and third one is not due so here instead of document date uh, better to bring the due date right even document date is also a uh, document date if you are going to bring the due date due date also will be the same date guys because on the same date it is going to be due right so now it is so here uh, because in document date you have given the 21st and it is going to be due on 21st itself so now 21st 08 is the previous date so it is it is it become overdue right because today is 31st so already 10 days crossed now this is today's date so that is why it is due and this is a future date in the sense like it is going to be due in, on 10th of this one so it is not due it is going to be due on which date this date 10th and on 11th it is going to be overdue right now so if we run this during uh, what is a program right now only one invoice supposed to be selected remaining two is not going to be selected right this one is going to be selected this one is not going to be, sorry remaining two is not going to be selected so why not to run this dunning program and check it that 
and even apart from this the penalty is also going to be calculated guys for first level let's suppose 50 second 100 and third level 200 this is what the amount we have specified in terms of penalty right so that is also going to be calculated now here we'll do one thing so you just do one thing f how to run this dunning uh what it says program guys so dunning program is going to be run okay so dunning program is going to be run f150 and press enter so here it is just like look at here the screen guys it is quite similar to automatic payment program the screen right there also run date and identification code as code was there here also we are having like run date and identification code apart from this status parameter free selections the similar use is there right the similar use is there now so run on on which date it is going to run guys so today itself we are going to run it TM double, this is our company code, right? I think, okay, battery is getting low, just wait for a second, guys. Misses, just wait for a second. Now, now hope everything is fine. So here, TM00, I'm going to give A. A six digit code can be given so six digit is the maximum one right maximum six digit code the code length will be six digit or is minimum one digit also can be there and it could be numeric alphanumeric or alphabetic anything can be given right and if you talk about whenever you are going to so and this both combination must be unique let's suppose on tomorrow in the sense first of uh september if you are going to run so here what is happening first september you can give first september in the sense 01 09 2020 and even if you give the same identification code so what about the system is it going to be ex acceptable yes it is going to be acceptable why because i told you that both together supposed to be unique combination so this code i have used earlier also for this 31st and later on, later on, like on 1st of September, if you're going to run on that date also, if you want to use this code, then can be used easily. Why? Because this is a different combination. And again, the first, because your run date is different. And 1st of September means, again, the run date is going to be changed. So both combinations are unique. Right? Now, you just do one thing. Right now, no parameter maintained. You click on parameter. Now we are going to maintain the parameter. So dunning date. Dunning date, of course, on which date it is going to be run. So that date is going to be entered. And then document posted up to. So, guys, here now, if you talk about how many like system is going to, so it's like okay, which fun, which which like uh, what do you say documents are going to be right? So, whatever document is posted till this date, system supposed to search in those documents only right so we have posted we have posted one document in future date so do we need to give a future date here guys so generally in real time what is happening since none of the transactions are going to be posted none of the transactions are going to be posted in future date so future date is not going to be given in real time here for our testing i have posted in transactions in future date so even if you're going to give a future date also like 15th of uh, september in that case also in that case also what is happening guys anyway system is not going to consider this one why because this is not eligible right so what is advisable guys always people are going to give the current date current date means running run date means today itself we are running so today's today's date we have to give and document posting posted up to so here also we are going to give today's date itself it means we are saying system that you just do one thing you find out all the overdue items right among the all transactions which is posted till today this is what the logic okay or else if you are going to give a different date like let's suppose 010 
if you are going to give 0, 1, 0, 8. It means we are saying that you find out all the overdue item among the all document which was posted till this date. Right? Whichever document was posted after 1st of August supposed to be ignored. So this is what the criteria. So here I'm going to use 31st. What is your company code guys? The company code is supposed to be given here. If you want to select multiple company code also possible at a time you can run for multiple company code also. Now here customer number. So guys generally what happens like let's suppose in organizations since they are going to run for all customer at a time which is it is going to be. So in that case what will happen guys in that case here you have to give zero and then here we are going to give ZZ. It means all the customers are going to be selected. Okay, if you want to give like if you have like let's suppose you are having a limited number of customers for few customers only you have to run. Let's suppose I'm going to run this for 100, 232 now. So let's suppose these are the The other customers, okay. The other customer for this, these many customers only. So, in that case, simply the customer number is already here on Excel sheet. You just copy and then what to do, guys? Then, here you need to click on multiple selections. Look at here. So, here you need to do one thing. Here, we are going to click on upload from clipboard. So, whatever we have copied, look at here, it got pasted here, right. And if you want to delete, now it is deleted. So since we are having a single customer, guys, so uh, whether you want whether you want to give that customer number or you give zero to ZZZ, in all cases, what is happening? System is going to select that particular customer itself because we are having this customer one double zero two three two, right? So customer number I'm going to give. What is the use of this free selections, guys? Free selection is going to be used in terms of inclusion and exclusion in the sense if you have to include something and if you have to exclude something in that case free selection is going to be used like let's suppose i have multiple invoices multiple invoices for a particular customer and in that like there is one invoice which is already overdue by a margin of 30 days but this is like disputed invoice still certain clarification is going on with the customer and customer said that you just wait for some time once our doubt is going to be clarified immediately we are going to release the payment so for that invoice we are not supposed to send any reminder later to the customer because customer already admitted that there is some dispute which we are going to discuss with your account receivable team help this team and it is going to be solved soon so in that case what is happening guys that customer number can be excluded here so this is what the use of pre-selection guys later on i'm going to uh, what do you say i have to record a separate tutorial for automatic payment program there i'll explain in details what is the use of this free selection tab because in app also you'll be having you'll be having this uh, free selection tab guys multiple uses are there so whatever uh, things i'm going to explain for automatic payment program the same thing is applicable here on this dining also or it's like in future uh, again like because this time uh, since you guys are beginner you guys are freshers right so whatever i'm what is it uh, covering here that is it's okay it's more than enough but still like at advanced a separate tutorial will be recorded for that okay in future like i'll record it whenever i'm going to get the time so in that i'll uh, try to quote some example for this free selections so this is pretty simple guys we'll explain it don't worry now here so here you just do one thing so ignore this free selections simply you can click on additional log and here once again you have to give the customer number 232 i think 232 and then save it control s we need to save the parameter once you save the parameter click on status look at here parameter was maintained earlier a different message was there parameter was not maintained so first of all you have to click on schedule so here click here and click on start immediately checkbox and then 
schedule execute this dining program so look at here sister is saying that zero notice is generated out of a zero or to be sent press enter so look at here once you press enter one notice got generated right why one notice got generated if you are able to remember i told you that only one line in line into is going to be selected here right and since a single customer is there that is why one notice is got generated so i'll just do one thing guys now so first of all we have to take sample printout sample printout means i want to see that for this customer we are having three invoices out of which out of three invoices how many invoices got selected so how you'll come to know click on sample printout guys and then here you just need to click on display and then uh, let's see here on display yes look at here guys now the first dunning notice the first dunning notice is getting generated for this is the customer which is like see the thing is like this is the standard which we have assigned right standard form which we have assigned generally what will happen the form is going to be developed by your technical consultant your ABAP consultant and as per so that form is going to be quite different guys here the logo and everything will appear the uh, contact details and everything will appear now here so look at here certain fixed text is also appearing right dear so uh, madam invoice number so and so is already so now look, look at here it become due so first of all invoice number is there date on which date it become due that is and then here now this 4000 what is the invoice amount that is and it become due okay it was posted on this date and it become due on due date in real time what will happen it was going to be posted on let's suppose 11th of 8th and after 10 days or after 30 days 30 days means the date supposed to be 21st of 07 then it is going to be due after 30 days it is going to be due on this date right since we are using terms of payment triple zero one it means it got posted on this date and even it become due on also due it become due also on same date itself right then apart from this arial right so this arial what is the logic behind this area guys now just 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 wait for a second guys wait for a second This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys. So now once again, I pause this recording so that there won't be any kind of gap in between. So because server related issues was there, people started calling. Now here. So and in online server, guys, sometimes server become down also due to uh, might be some issues and all. So even if you are using any online server and all. You also might face such kind of problem but this is a temporary what you say this one only might be for half an hour uh, it is it is going to be there and again it is going to be resolved now so uh, in that case like let's suppose if uh, connectivity issues if you guys are going to get then whoever the server owner is there from wherever you have taken this access you need to just drop a mail or else you can uh, if you're or else you can send a whatsapp message and the people are going to rectify it as soon as possible now so here we are talking about this uh, dunning so look at here guys now so uh, since we are using the uh, what you say uh, terms of payment that is triple zero one so on the same date it becomes due and now you area it means what days in area means in the sense like look at here this is so 10 days so it means here what is happening guys this this 10 days means what this is going to be like this invoice become overdue by a margin of 10 days right so if it is like if i'm going to run this uh dunning program day after tomorrow then here it is going to be 12 days right here it is going to be 12 days so now what is happening guys what is this area area means or days in area we can say days in area also so now what is this area here guys area means the difference between if you're going to search uh, the definitions on google uh, it's going to give you a quite different meaning guys look at here practically you guys can see here so area means here what is happening the difference the gap between the gap between what due date and current date current is current date is 31st and look at here it become due on 21st so 31st minus 20 was 21 31 minus 21 right and here the calculation is there nothing else apart from this 
if you are going to see the google definitions and all it is going to confuse you totally and you uh, there are multiple people i have seen like simply uh, they are going to read out those definition itself but the question is how much you are able to understand that matters if you are not able to understand then those definitions are, are not useful right so here now so Bayesian area means this is what the gap it, it's a difference between the current date in the sense dunning run date and the due date and look at here this is the first reminder this is the first reminder so here this is you can say like uh d means what dunning reminder number one apart from this dunning charges penalty is also charges is also applicable 50 so this is what like total how much 4050 but what is the original invoice guys original amount is 4000 itself this is what is appearing here right now and only one invoice spot selected so this is called so on this date we have run the dunning program now what will happen guys if i'm going to run this same dunning program so this is run on 31st right if i'm going to run after 10 days let's suppose on which date guys so after 10 days means like uh on any date after 10 days means like let's suppose i'm going to run on 08 okay on 08 09 2000 on this date if i'm going to run just assume that on this date if i'm going to run then what will happen guys right or else not on this date better better to run on a different date Okay, so sorry guys, the voice was, uh, I think some issues was there. So now here with the voice. Now here, so on this date, I'll just do one thing. Better to run on like uh, here. So on which date? So run on 11th, 11th, 08, 2020. Okay, 11th. 08 2020 on this date if we are going to run then what will happen okay this conference will now be recorded extremely sorry guys once again there was some problem so now the connectivity is gone so i'll just do one thing i'll log in again but anyway the new letter is already uh, generated here right so let me log in now so as i told you let me log in first and then i'll explain so here fb sorry f150 right so F150 and this is the date which we have given and this is the identification code if you press enter then look at here uh, sample printout that is already shown you right that only one only this is the first reminder right and only one invoice got selected here why because this is what only is eligible now if i'm going to run this again so if i'm going to run on this date then what will happen guys on this date so 31st and then this is 11th so now here what is happening so on 11th what is happening guys this is going to be like for this this is eligible to send the first reminder right and this is not eligible because it is going to be eligible on 15th right so for this one zero and for this one first reminder and here since 10 days already we have crossed it means like 10 days back we have sent the first reminder so this is eligible for second reminder right so if we are going to run this dunning program on this date then the invoice number for invoice number 4000 sorry invoice number one second letter second reminder letter supposed to be generated for invoice number second first reminder letter supposed to be generated and invoice number third no reminder letter supposed to be generated why because already this is the criteria right 50 if it is going to be 
included on this date if you are going after this date uh, if you are going to run this study so now here okay i'll just do one thing guys now so if you are going to run a dining program on next day right so this is going to be included by system only if you take the printout in the sense first of all you have to take the printout this, this is how like what is happening guys a complete run is going to be treated by system okay if you don't take the printout it means system is assumed that we have not sent the reminder to the customer simply have run this dining program that's it so a complete run means you must have to go for click on print okay now here so look at here the print was so now then how to take the print out guys that i'll show you don't worry let me uh, complete this uh, what do you say this one complete uh, for print out and all you have to go to sp02 is the transaction code and from there you can take the print out okay i'll just show here itself sp02 and <clears throat> Here, look at here so now what is happening this is what the letter okay so the printer is going to be printer will, will, will be linked and the uh, what is a printout can be generated the printout is going to be generated and that is going to be sent to the customer now here come back okay so once again f150 and here so now we are going to run again a dunning program on which date on this date so if you want to keep the code same code here you can keep the same code sorry same date uh, sorry you can keep the same code but the date is changed so once again this become unique combinations and if you press enter now nothing is there so once again we are going to maintain the parameter and we are going to give this like running date on this date it is going to run right and document posted up to this date itself we can give give your company code and give your customer number and then additional log here also you did give to give the customer number and save it control s so now here click on schedule again start immediately and here press enter enter so now what is happening guys there is some issues click on sample printout and let me check why zero got generated zero got generated right so 1108 okay no 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 i think i have made a mistake guys uh sorry so it was not supposed to be on 1108 right it was supposed to be 1109 so this is what the mistake now here you just do one thing click on dunning delete dunning run so here the proposal is going to be deleted now instead of this 08 i'm going to give 09 it was supposed to be run on this date right because 08 means none of the invoices are there now here click on parameter and then 09 i was supposed to give. so because on 08 nothing was there right 1108 right so 1108 means what guys now here 1108 means it was supposed to be 1109 actually i have made a mistake so now here 1108 means nothing was there right another none of the invoices because the invoice itself we have posted and that too after 21st it is like on 21st right so now here that is why system was not selected anything here now here once again you have to give the customer number and you can additional log here just give and save it okay. schedule now look at here two dunning notice got generated right two dunning notice got generated if you check here sample print out and click on display so look at here this is the first dunning notice and for which one that first dunning notice this is 6000 right so as i told you for this one first reminder for 6000 and for this one second reminder for 4000 the invoice number one in the sense like for this 4000 amount second reminder right so for this one penalty will be 50 rupees or whatever your currency is there 50 usd or INR, whatever it is or aud or whatever other currencies and here uh, for this one second reminder means we have already kept 100 as a penalty right so now here look at here the first letter this is the first letter 
so 6000 and it is and this these things already i have explained guys this is the first reminder and if you click on back button then you will be having second reminder also look at here this is what the second reminder this is the second look at here second running notice and have a look here guys the text got changed right for second reminder different text is there and you look at here the this is like second reminder and there is an error means like again system is going to count the gap between like current run and whatever like due date is there so in between whatever the interval is there that is going to be counted in the form of area now here 100 is your penalty so total 4100 out of which what is happening guys 4000 is the original invoice amount right and second running notice got generated and if you click on back button will come back right so likewise what is happening guys now if i am going to run so here if i am going to run again on say for example 22nd 23rd okay let's suppose 22nd 09 2020 if i'm going to run on this date then what will happen guys then so now this is for this one first reminder will be generated and since the 10 days gap is there from between this date this one this date and this date so first reminder already we have said for this one system is going to generate second reminder and for this one again 10 days gap is there so for this one third reminder is going to be generated right and how system will come to know that first reminder for this line item first reminder is already like this time if you are going to run so how system will come to know that first reminder is already sent second reminder is already sent line item wise that to line item wise so of course see the thing is so now i'll just do one thing first of all it's still we have like this is like we it is not the complete run right complete run is going to be considered only if you click on running printout before that i will just do one thing now so if you go to f f b l 5 n okay here and uh, you give your customer number and if you click on execute or else even if you click on all item also then all three invoices now for this one first reminder we have already sent and for these two no reminder is sent why because the first is only we have executed completely so if you double click on 4000 then what is happening guys look at here the last dunning on which date this date and how many reminder only first reminder got generated right and once i do one thing now and for remaining for remaining whatever the remaining amounts are there for this one there is no reminder okay no dunning right for this one also there is no dunning for this one also this is also not selected now in the seconds in the second run what is happening guys second invoice also got selected so once you take the printout once you click on printout here then what is happening this is a complete run press enter it's a complete run now second reminder it means now what is happening guys so for this one second reminder got generated if you double click here for this one look at here second reminder got generated and on which date we have run on so and so date we have run and now the second line item again the first reminder got generated so here for second line item the first reminder is there i'll tell you guys now multiple people you all like whoever is watching this video tutorial there might be chances that uh, you have taken the training from somewhere or is like uh, might be planning to take the training from somewhere you go wherever you want but the thing is like most of the people are just covering the configuration parts and all right so these things you have to do analysis at this level if you're taking training from somewhere you ask the logical question from your faculty isn't it so and multiple things are there multiple questions are there if i do this then what will happen if i don't do this then what will happen what is the impact where is the impact this is how this is how it's going to be you know uh, you know it's going to good for your upcoming career and all now here the only problem is this is a pre-recorded session in the sense i'm recording and i'm loading on this uh, udemy and again udemy is the honor for these all things uh, isn't it like simply we have uploaded this video on udemy now udemy 
you guys are going to buy it from Udemy. So Udemy become owner. In, in that case, like if you are having any query also, pre-recorded video means you cannot ask from people, right? So wherever you are going to take the classes and all, you ask from your faculty. Ask, try to ask more and more questions, right? So now here for this one, first reminder got generated. Now and for third there is no reminder okay so if you are going to run on this date then what will happen guys then for this invoice for this invoice third reminder is going to be generated for this one second reminder is going to be generated and for this one first reminder is going to be generated likewise even if you are having several thousands of invoices for every invoices what is happening the same treatment will be there at invoice level system is going to update that for this invoice already second reminder we have sent right and for what about the third reminder guys so between second reminder and third reminder there should be a gap of 10 days so how sap will come to know that uh, 10 days from which date it is going to be calculated guys so look at here look at here 10 days from which date so even the last dunning run date is also updated here that since it is run it has already run on this date so 10 days means plus plus 10 here like 11 and plus 10. so everything is recorded here because system is going to system is not having any brain and all right system is going to work based on the logic so here it is already updated last run date is already updated now if there is a 10 days gap then what is happening guys third letter is going to be generated because second is already generated here and this is already updated here right so based on this system is going to work out okay so now if you have to generate the third if you if you want to uh, what is run the third reminder and all then what is happening first of all second we have already run you must have to execute that printout and all First of all, you have to go for this printout executions and all. Then once you click on this printout executions, then only what is happening, guys, a complete run is going to be treated by system. And then you can run for this state. So this is a kind of assignment for you guys. Okay, if you're doing the practice, you also give a date in this way itself, the way I have kept, right? So first, second, and third. So this time, now you guys has to perform testing and you just check it here that whether the third reminder got generated or not of course it is going to be generated until unless you because i know that you are freshers you guys are beginner there might be a chances that somewhere you have made the silly mistakes and all but don't leave it up until unless you execute it successfully if it is if the letter is not getting generated then what is happening guys somewhere we have made a mistake right so try to find out that mistake and if you are able to find out that mistake and all this is how you are you are like uh, uh, what is a confidence level is going to increase because you are doing practice alone and here nowhere is no one is there to help you out right you can ask the query only if you if you are booking going to take some live classes faculty is there if you found some difficulties and all next class you are going to join you can ask the questions right even in my live classes also like multiple uh, candidates are there they are doing practice there uh, what do you say whenever they are facing the issues and all immediately they are going to post these things in the group right so now in next session whenever i'm going to conduct the next session then first of all these doubts are going to be clarified that okay what mistake you have done that is going to be seen and then i'm going to but here in this classes anyway saying this doesn't mean that i'm promoting my classes guys here like you guys are watching this video with on this udemy platform right so here still i'm trying to explain in the simplest way so that the very less number of queries will be there very less number of queries will be there Right, and all the example, whichever I'm quoting, I'm very simple example. I'm trying to quote from my side, and again, uh, I don't like how which you are understanding that. I'll come to know only if you guys are going to provide your comments and all, your feedbacks and all. And of course, this is uh, really encouraging and all. I've seen like certain feedbacks I've been giving with people. That is quite encouraging, and this is how like even you people also become inspired. That okay, let me add some more things. Okay, so I'm expecting, you know, and I'm waiting for. Uh, the comments from remaining people also so guys now here this is an assignment for you you have to run the third letter supposed to be generated how the uh, third letter is going to looks like and all that you will come to know only if you are going to run this running program again 
in on this particular date this particular date doesn't mean that uh, on this particular date itself you have to run guys likewise you can like if your current date is a different date right your current date because you are watching this video on a different date so your current date is going to be different date so here and then again you just add not 10 days add 11 days or 12 days and in this one also again here also add 11 days and 12 days and this is how you can so this is the like let's suppose you're watching this video in uh, uh, december so what is happening guys here on a particular date so 28 12 2020 right and here it is going to be so add 11 days or 12 days here so let's suppose next run is going to be on second uh, 01 2021 right and then again like this is going to be 12th or 13th 01 2000 like that you can give a date and then you can run okay and then you can perform this testing okay so that's all guys that's all in this session